good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure news but it's not going to be like the typical news that we do where we get on here and show you you know a bunch of figures that we're going to be getting a bunch of upcoming wwe elites or something like that man we actually have things kind of on the different side where things we're not getting because we are diving into some news today man regarding the wwe elite series 91 rob van dam figure if you guys were not aware but the chase variant version the red white and black version of this figure is no longer going to be made. It's not coming out. We're not getting it. It is canceled. We have received some word from some other wrestling figure online retailers that uh, yeah, apparently Mattel informed them that you know they were no longer getting this figure. I don't think that Mattel or Ringside Collectibles has posted anything yet. I don't know if people have gotten emails about you know like a, a refund for the figure if you guys already ordered it because I know that it was up on their website for pre-order for a long time and it, I'm sure it got a ton of orders so I'm sure they are going to have to refund the money through emails or, or contacting you guys that ordered that figure specifically. I can't remember if I ordered it or not. I know I ordered the Tiger Stripes gear and I know I ordered the Hulk Hogan from Elite Series 91 for sure but I, I feel like I took my chances and didn't order the Chase variant because I was like, maybe I can find it in the wild or order it once it's available. So I can't remember if I pre-ordered that one or not. But in this video, we are going to break down everything about the situation, you know, take a step back and look at the entire deal, why it was canceled or maybe why it was canceled because I don't think Mattel or Ringside Collectibles has officially announced or Mattel for that matter. You know, Ringside just distributes the figures. They don't make the figures themselves. So Mattel hasn't like come out and released an official statement on the figure. I don't know if they ever will. I'm not sure if they'll, you know, if they, they've done anything on the boards you know, on the online forums or anything like that. I don't think they've gotten on there and officially released any statements on the figure, but we can assume and, you know, break down just based on the entire situation and all of those things. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. First of all, if you guys were wondering about the regular version of the figure, the Tiger Stripes RBD, it is still being made. It is still available for pre-order. You can still pick that figure up. It is going to be made. Like that one is absolutely coming out 100%. I'll tell you right now, if that one was the one that was gone or they canceled the figure altogether, I would cancel everything about about myself. I would probably sell every figure in this room. I, I don't know if I could continue. That's just a joke but I'm dead ass serious. But on a serious note, that figure is still available. You can go on there, which provides me, you guys are probably wondering, well, how do you know this? How do you know it's canceled all the way? You know, all these different things. How do you know we're not getting that figure? Well, there's two two little points of evidence that I can point to. I mean, I know it's getting canceled, but if you guys wanted some background knowledge on like uh, some evidence that you can look at for yourself, well, if you go over to Ringside Collectibles and you search up Rob Van Dam or RVD or whatever, and you're trying to pre-order that figure or buy that figure, the only two figures they have on their website is the Elite 91 and the complete set of Elite 91 and no Chase. There's there's a blank there. There's no Chase variant RVD. You can't pick up the Chase variant there. So, you can't grab it from Ringside Collectibles. That's point number one. I think they took it down yesterday or the day before if I'm not mistaken, but before that we had even further proof on the day of reveals not too long ago. If you guys search through those photos, we had photos of every other figure in the set, but what figure was missing from the set? The Chase Rob Van Dam Elite 91 figure was not there. You didn't see it. There was no official images. We did get images of the Tiger Stripes gear, but we did not get images of the other gear, which is very upsetting, you know, but it was gone. It was not there. We only saw the one version. So that's two little snippets of information. If you guys were looking for evidence, there's your two points of evidence right there. And if you guys want to get into why it's canceled, let's go ahead and get into that right now. So if we take a look at the RVD gear, if you look at it, you know, you look at images of it. I'll pull up pictures of the gear on screen so you guys can see it and pictures of the figure and all of these different things. Well, you guys will notice on the gear that it does show all off, you guys will notice that it does have a rising sun on it, or it has the rising sun flag imagery on it. And just for a little background knowledge on the flag and everything like that, it says the rising sun flag is a Japanese flag that consists of a red disc and 16 red rays emanating from the disc. So it's basically like a sun rising, hence the name rising sun flag. So a lot of you are probably like, what's the big deal? It's just, just, it's just a flag on the, the gear there. It's just, you know, it's just a figure, all those different things. Well, it says here, this is on Wikipedia, it says here, as the flag was used by the Imperial Japanese military during Japan's expansion throughout Asia. It is regarded as offensive by some in East Asia, particularly South Korea, which was ruled by Japan and China. The symbol is often associated with Japanese imperialism in the early 20th century in these two countries. So we can only assume that Mattel probably canceled this figure or this RVD because it is seen as offensive to some collectors. This isn't actually something that's new. Like this has been done before. I want to say in like 2009, I think I remember uh, a Jordan brand, like Jordan brand 
Brand released some Jordan 12s, I think it was, and they were even dubbed like the Rising Sun Jordan 12s. Like they, like I think you could still purchase them, but they did have to change some imagery on the shoes themselves because they were caught up in controversy. So I pull up an article right here. It says an homage to Japan's Rising Sun flag and its inspiration on that of the AJ12's pleated leather upper that explodes over the mud guard. This retro rendition, though in no ways made with ill intent, caused controversy out east. While technically speaking, every Air Jordan 12 is inspired by the Rising Sun flag in regards to design, the retro of its namesake 10 years ago took said styling at face value by using the tones associated with the flag all over the model and putting the actual flag on its insole. So they ended up having to change the insole of the shoe because it actually had the Rising Sun flag, you know, design on the insole of the shoe and it was, you know, obviously discontinued or whatever after production and, you know, similar to the RVD situation that we're in right now. Why was that? To some, the Rising Sun flag represents the Japanese military, ultra national their imperial era and connotations to Germany. Sneakerheads, members of academia and social activists petitioned Nike and Jordan Brand to take notice of the sensitivity, which they ultimately did. So those are the reasons why the figure was cancelled. And it kind of makes you think a little bit, like, how the figure made it so far into the production, you know? Because this isn't, like, a new thing. Like, this this has happened with this similar imagery multiple times in the past. I don't see how, like, they would allow it to get that far if it was ultimately going to be, you know, cancelled and, and not even replaced. So that's, that's another thing about the figure, is that it's not going to be replaced. They're not going to, you know, change the deco or whatever. I guess it's way too late in production for them to change the deco or something like that. I don't know if maybe we'll get a ringside exclusive where, you know, they could redo the RVD in a different gear and give us some accessories and make some cool packaging to kind of, you know, like, since you guys missed out on, you know, an extra RVD figure, here's another RVD figure that you guys can have. I don't know. But I will say there's plenty of other gears that they can make. Like, if we're going for ringside exclusive, they could do, you know, WrestleMania. They could do where he won the money in the bank and give him the actual money in the bank contract with the Airbrush designs on it. I think that would be really beautiful. There's a lot of different gears that they could do, but the figure is not going to be replaced at this juncture, like I said. So that is a bummer, I will say. So we're not getting the Elite 91 Chase RVD. We're just not getting it, man. Thus, that completes the saga of the Elite 91 Chase RVD. Maybe, again, like I said, we'll get a ringside exclusive or something like that to kind of replace the figure in some way and kind of get, you know, a figure in its spot so we don't miss out on a complete RVD figure. But that is the tale of the tape. I think even in multiple, like, Capcom games and, like, Street Fighter and things like that. They've had to replace that flag in, in certain instances before as well. So it's something that has, has happened in the past before. But I figured there's some people out there that did not know that this figure was cancelled or whatever the case was, so I did want to get on here, explain the situation, and just kind of speculate on probably why it happened, and, you know, just touch on the subject and see what you guys thought. I would like to know if anybody's received an email from Ringside, you know, talking about the order of the figure. If you guys did order the figure, did you already get a refund or whatever the case was? But I did do a mock-up image of a ringside exclusive RVD a long time ago and it got a ton of love so I think that they would be really smart to you know try and make that figure come to fruition especially now after you know RVD's figure has kind of gotten like this pop of popularity like that figure kind of got like brought to the spotlight a little bit more now so maybe I would lose my mind that's probably one of my like top figure wants I think but anyways guys that is gonna wrap up this WWE action figure news video I do apologize that you know it was was a cancellation instead of you know more figures coming soon but let me know what you guys think of the whole thing down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so very much for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys for more figure news, cancellations, you know, figure reviews, all the different things, man. Let me know. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Turn on your bell notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much, and do not cross the line like me if the Tiger Stripes were to be the one gone. You cross the line.